Hey coders and welcome to episode one of our Gmail service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to be talking about sending emails from the Gmail app. So there's really only one method to do that and it's called send email, so very intuitive. There are three required parameters, recipient, subject, and body, and one optional parameter called options. So let's jump into the code and start sending some emails. When we authenticated our application back in episode zero, basically what we were doing was we were giving this code the authority to work on this account's behalf. So similarly, when we start sending emails, it's going to be sending from this account. So that's just a good thing to keep in mind when you're writing an app script. So let's start sending the email. So again, this method send email is accessed through the parent class of Gmail app. So we start typing in send email, and here we have two options. The second one is if you would like to include those optional parameters, but let's not do that right now. Let's start off with the required parameters. So the recipient is whoever is going to receive the email that you're sending, so the email address of that recipient. So let's just send it to my college address, sas.upenn.edu. So again, this was my college email. I don't really use it that often, so it's a good test account now. And then subject is basically the subject line, and I think that's pretty intuitive, but I'll show you uh, once we send the email what that is. So let's just say something like, hello from apps script. Great, and then the body is basically the message of your email. So let's just say, this is a test email. Great. So this will run perfectly fine and it will send it to my college email address. But one more thing I want to include is if you wanted to send to multiple recipients and you wanted them all to receive it all in one email, then what you could do is just separate the recipients in this parameter by a comma. So Let's say I also wanted to send a copy to myself. So I'll just type in davidtheweiss7 at gmail.com. Great, so now this is going to send to both of these accounts, or both of these Gmails. So let's just save it, and we'll run it. No errors, that's good to see. So if we just refresh, there we go. And we have our email that was sent from our app script code, which is pretty awesome to see. So again, here's our subject line, hello from Apps Script. This is a test email. If we check our college account, there it is as well. So this is the same email sent to both of us, as you can see, and we received it. So that's great. So now let's try to add in some optional parameters because you may want to do some more things when you send an email. So your optional arguments are going to be contained within a JavaScript object and I'm just gonna move down a line to create some more space. And there are a lot of properties of this object, but let me paste some right here. So I found this on the app script documentation and you can find it there as well to get some more information. But there's things that you can add like attachments and carbon, cop carbon copy somebody. You can add an HTML body, which, will, which I will do a lot and will probably make a whole nother video about it. And other things like no reply and reply to. Great, so let's just let's just use some of them in this video. So let's say we want to include an attachment. So we'll write the key attachments and then the value is, so you can kind of see the value is gonna be a blob source. So this is basically, what a blob is, it's basically a file, like any type of file. And it has a lot, I mean, you can send PDFs, you can send image files. I think blob stands for binary large object, something like that. So it's just whatever you'd like to send in the file format and it takes an array. So you need these square brackets and we have a file right here. This is a sample resume that I just put together real quick. It's right here. So let's say we wanna send a sample resume to somebody and actually let's, uh, Let's send it to my college email address again. So we'll just type in file and then we'll add another property and we'll say 
let's carbon copy ourself. So we'll say David the Weiss 7 at gmail.com. Great. Actually, this needs to be in quotes because this is a string. Very good. Okay, so let's add one more and let's say name. So name is basically the name of the however you'd like your name to display on on Gmail when you send the email. So actually let me just let me just type it in, run the code, and then I'll show you what this means basically. Alright, so the name is gonna be this is from David the Weiss. So if we save it and I think everything looks good, so let's run it. And it's still running. All right, there we go. No errors. So let's just check our own email first. And there it is. So hello from AppScript. This is a test email. And then we have our sample resume in our attachments. So that's pretty cool. All right, and let's just check again for from our college email. And we'll just refresh it. And I think it's sent to it. it. Said to. Yep, there it is. Okay, I guess I was just taking a little longer. So here it is, and here's the email. And if you saw before, so again, what we said was the name of the sender is now going to be equal to David the Weiss. And as you can see here, it was sent from David the Weiss. So before it was just sent from David the Weiss 7, and then now it actually has a name. But remember, it's still sent from this Gmail account. So it's still being sent, again, from this account, but now we just have a, a name here. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.